Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, well, we did a bunch of upgrade and repair jobs. We also got paid $200 just to put stickers on someone's PC. I mean, that's quite the racket there, let me tell you. Anyway, if you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right-hand corner so you can go do so. We also left off with a couple of email in the inbox that we need to get to work on. So let's take a look at those. Let's look at this one first. Oh man, this thing's long. So this is another one of those really long emails that really doesn't add a whole lot of value. So I'm going to skip reading through all of this to save you guys a little bit of a listening time and to save my vocal cords. <laughs> so we're just going to look at what needs to be done. They want the case painted purple. They want stickers put on the case, heart emojis. And they don't want us painting over the glass. So I think we can make that happen. There was a $0 parts budget, but we'll get paid $240 just to paint and apply some stickers. So let's go ahead and accept that one. And then let's take a look at this one. We'll go ahead and read through this one. It says, hi, many thanks for the Terry bite. It worked very well indeed, perhaps too well. I was so occupied with watching the live camera feeds that I forgot to check the weather forecast and the computer was subject to quite a large storm. One minute I was watching a fine example of Pigeonus Fatus. And the next, there was a loud pop, and all the camera feeds went offline. I had a look out of the window, and there was a large cloud of smoke coming from the tree where I was keeping the computer. Why the heck are you keeping your computer in a tree? I finally got it indoors, but it's not turning on at all. Folks on the RCOS chat tell me the power supply and motherboard are most likely to have been damaged and will probably need replacing. I'm hopeful it can be repaired, as it captured some fascinating footage of a lesser spotted goober. I think I mentioned it is very unusual that I desperately want to show off at the next society meeting, fingers crossed. So, we need to replace the motherboard and the power supply. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's go here to their stats. And we're just going to go ahead and add the motherboard that they need and the power supply. So let's add that. And it's this job, so we'll confirm that. Let's go back to PC stats, and they want this power supply... So we'll go ahead and add that as well. There we go. So this stuff is in the basket, ready to go. Let's go ahead and buy it. And we can go in the day, we can get in the one that needs to be painted and stickered, as well as this one that this moron uh, left outside. Not really sure why they thought it was okay to leave a PC sitting outside in the rain. It's definitely a new one on me. Okay, let's get our parts here. And let's see, customize. Let's do the fix first. Let's fix this thing up. Let's see, let's get the side panel off. And we need to get everything unplugged. Get this power supply out of here. I keep thinking I have quick screw. <laughs> Constantly, I constantly think I have quick screw on here. Uh, let's see, power supplies. So here is the new one. Here is the broken one. Let's go ahead and sell that off. Grab the new one, get that installed. And then we need to get the motherboard out of here and get that replaced. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Get this graphics card out. Let's see, let's get this. CPU cooler unplugged and out of the way. Did I already open that? Yeah, that says close. And we'll get these cables unplugged. Get this motherboard out of here. Do I really have to take the standoffs out? I'm sorry, this is so dumb. Having to remove the standoffs. I guess we need to buy the auto standoff tool. Yeah, we need to buy the auto standoff tool. Can I, uh, can I take just a moment here and go into the options? Is there anything anywhere? Show tool tips. Will that fix? Will that fix this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
<laughs> well, let's sell off this broken motherboard. I'm going to grab the new one. The tooltips are nice. I mean, I appreciate that they're there, but I find them very distracting, and I feel the need to read them every time they pop up. So it seems to make my videos nowhere near as smooth as they could be when I'm talking. Got to zoom back in. Let me get this thing ready for a CPU and RAM. I don't know how their motherboard got messed up and their RAM and CPU didn't. Let's see. I think this was theirs. Yeah, it was. And then we've got the CPU. Um, so this one that says owned by. I sure hope so. <laughs> I hope I'm putting the right one in. Okay, let's get the graphics card in. It just says owned by, but it doesn't say who. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, we need to get some thermal paste. Let's see, tools, thermal paste. Whoa! Sufficient thermal paste applied. Excellent, okay. <laughs> I need to get the CPU cooler back on. And it needs to get cabled up. Don't know. I must not have access to any kind of colored cables. Or I just don't know how to access them. Get everything plugged in here. And the front panel connector. I think it might be ready. This case has no fans. Or at least none that I see. Huh. I think we're ready to make sure this thing works. I do want to hop into their BIOS if the game will let me, obviously. See if they need XMP turned on. They did. Um, I do not know. Hopefully that's the correct one. I mean, it's in the zero slot, so it should be the one they're booting from, but you just never know. There we go. There we go. All right, so this thing's done. We just need to get the side panel put back on. And this can go out into the hallway. And this one that they want painted and stickered can come in here and get worked on. Let's see. Case modding. Uh, this looks like the exact same case. All right. Well, whatever. Purple. They want purple. Let's go purple. We don't want it on the glass. Let's go big. There we go. I don't think that's glass anyway. I think that's plastic. Um, yeah. But, you know, I digress. Okay, so, purple. Get everything painted purple, and then we'll get their uh, emoji stickers. Yeah, why, why does it look like different colors of purple? Who knows? Guess it's the lighting in this game. Uh, so they want some heart emojis. Oh, we'll click the stickers. Let's see. Warning signs, symbols, emoji. There we go. We'll just do a big one. Oh, they want four. They want four. So let's shrink these down a little bit. How about we give them five? There we go. Okay, I think this is done. Get this off the workbench. Go put this out in the delivery area. We should be able to collect some money. Let's do that on the tablet. Oh, there's the thermal thing. I was looking for this in the last episode. It said we could use this to look for hotspots on PCs, but I couldn't find it anywhere on the tablet. So if you go back and watch that episode, or if you've already seen it, I guess it just appears? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to hop into the email here. 
Here is the customized one we just did. Let's collect that. $240 profit and a five star bongo review. Very nice. Very nice. Here's the one I replaced the motherboard and PSU in. $310 profit and a five star bongo review. Excellent. So we've got this thing. Let's take a look up here though. We've unlocked some new parts, an i9-7920 and a 7900X. Very cool. Some cooler than some other things. And some broken PCs, which we'll probably get around to at some point. Here's, here's another apply sticker thing. This seems like the real money maker here. People are paying money for something they can do themselves. How is it that people are not able to apply their own stickers and they're willing to pay $120? I mean, whatever. I'll take their money, that's for sure. Uh, this one says, my PC's looking a little drab. I just need several question mark stickers on the case to really make it pop. Question marks? Really? Okay. I've never cleaned it out. Is that okay? It's not as quick as it used to be, and I get a lot of strange pop-ups. Can you sort that out? Okay. So not only do they want stickers done, but they want us to dust all the dust out of it and probably run a virus scan. Okay. Okay. Well, let's accept that one. Let's take a look at this. Here's another long one. Talking about some about cupcakes, they've got a problem. Let's just let's skip this. Diagnose and fix. They don't know what's wrong. Obviously, it's probably dusty, filthy, or something's broken. <laughs> I don't know what they've got. Two 980s or 980 Ti's in this PC that apparently uh, just sits in a bakery. But you know what? You know whatever. Uh, we will accept it. We're not going to buy anything for it. Yes, we know. This job requires you to figure out what's wrong with the PC before being able to order parts. And that's fine. We'll figure it out and we'll order the parts. Okay. Let's end the day. Let's get these things in. And let's figure out what's, uh, what's wrong with the one. And we will, uh, you know, clean up and stickerify the other one with question marks. Question mark stickers. So let's do the customized one first. Doesn't look too dusty on the outside. There is definitely some dust. There's definitely some dust. Yeah, so let's put stickers on here first. They want question marks. They want three of them. Set color. They didn't really say a color, right? Well, I guess they're getting blue. I guess they're getting blue, question marks. I meant to push control and not alt. <laughs> I wanted to make it bigger. So we'll do a big question mark there. And we'll shrink it down. And like we did on the last one, we'll do a couple of small question marks. Okay. So that's done. Now... We're not done yet though, because we need to switch this back to build mode and let's clean this thing. It says this PC is filthy. Let's give it a clean before we return it to the customer. Yes, I think that's a great idea. And the tool tool tips are back. Maybe it's just because this is giving me a tutorial on, on how to clean a PC. Uh, okay. So, Tools, compressed air, clean out dust. I'm, I'm holding the left click. Man, there's garbage flying everywhere. <laughs> so the problem is, is where it says clean out dust, when I go over that, it stops uh, spraying air. There we go. Dust removed. All the dust has been removed. Now the PC's clean. You can now complete any remaining objectives. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and power this up. Hop into the BIOS. Obviously, we will see if they need XMP turned on, which they did. We're going to go ahead and let it boot up. While it's booting up, I do want to get a USB drive in here. And we're going to put... Oh, that's not where I meant to go. Uh, we're going to put virus scanner on. We're going to scan this thing for viruses because they said it's not as fast as it used to be. So generally that is code for I've got a bunch of viruses. Let's take a look. 
435. Not the most I've ever seen, but definitely a lot. Warning, corrupted files found. Let's clean those up. Let's clean those up. There we go. All right, so their PC should definitely be faster than it used to be. I'm going to go ahead and get the side panels put back on. We can get this thing out into the delivery area. Then we can get the one where we don't know what's wrong with it. Got to figure it out. Got to figure it out for ourselves. Okay, there we go. This thing, this thing's finished though. Hopefully the customer is happy. So let's grab this purple one that has, uh, looks like banana, banana stickers. <laughs> banana stickers all over the top of it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this customer's PC is overheating. For this job, we'll be using the thermal app on the tablet to identify the faulty part. But first, we need to open the PC and power it up. So let's get started. So here's our tutorial on how to use the thermal app. Can I... Oh my gosh. I can't use my auto... My auto cabling. <laughs> They're going to make me do it the slow way. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, great. The next step is to open the tablet uh, and launch the thermal, thermal app. Thermal. Thermal app is used... Oh, look at there. Hot stuff. The thermal app is used to examine the temperature of components inside the PC case. This can help you diagnose parts which could be overheating. To begin, left-click, continue. Okay. Uh, zoom. I mean, the RAM's looking pretty toasty. That's some toasty hot RAM. 82C. Like, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I was wondering how we move around. So I'm going to say maybe the RAM, if they're saying it's overheating, which is causing a problem. I mean, sometimes RAM can run hot. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a problem. But hey, you know what? The thermal app has helped us identify that the RAM is faulty, so from here you just need to order a replacement part and install it as usual. So it was, was it was it this uh, left RAM? <laughs> Let's go back to the thermal app. I just want to be sure. Yes. Yes, it was. So we will power this off. Let's go to remove. Let's get this RAM out of here. Uh, let's see. Can I go? Can I go here? Go to PC stats. Here we go. We can add this. We can do it to there. There we go. Check out. Let's just do same day. It's only a hundred bucks. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So, let's get this new RAM put in. Install memory. Uh, where's the broken one? Here it is. So, uh, um, oh, okay. No, this one is broken. This one's just faulty, but it's the, it's the right thing. Why is it asking me if I'm sure? I mean, it's faulty. Can I, can I still use it if it's faulty? I'm confused. Let's power this up. <laughs> Let's hop into the BIOS. I'll look at that later. I'll look at that later. XMP did need to be turned on for them. They did not already have it running. And we'll make sure the PC starts up. Let's zoom back out. There we go. Okay, side panel. Installed. And let's get this thing out into the delivery area. We can see what we can work on next. Let's uh, open up the tablet. We'll go to the email. Let's collect this money. So here's what we just did. Let's collect that. Five stars and $319. And here's the apply question marks and <laughs> blow the dust out and get rid of my viruses. So let's go ahead and collect that. Oh, we leveled up the customer's king, 10 XP. Heck yeah. 
So we made 120 bucks, got a five star review. This one says, I asked for some of those question mark stickers, and they got exactly right, and they did a great job. Excellent. We also leveled up. We hit level seven. And we're up to four G's. Four G's in the bank. So let's get rid of that. Let's take a look here if we unlocked anything cool. Third gen Ryzen, eighth gen Intel, 2060s. Bunch of miscellaneous parts. Uh, next milestone is ninth gen Skylake X. RGB case fans. We don't even have RGB case fans in 2070s. Okay. Okay. And we just... Oh, these new parts are available. I don't know if that means they're available to me. Hmm. I don't know. Don't need them right now. That's okay. And here's broken PCs. And the landlord wants $800. Wow. Really? Piece of junk's 800 bucks. Hope you enjoyed your month. <laughs> oh... Has it been a month already? Wow. Wow. I mean, this is the fourth episode. So each 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 episode's a week? That can't be right. <laughs> this one says, My PC's looking a little drab. I really want a purple case to go with my other furniture. I could do with a typo on this PC. Can you handle that, please, Lorraine? So paint the case purple and put a, a, a typo? Okay. Uh, Sure. This customer wants you to install some software on their PC. You can find the different software you need on the USB stick. Okay, so typo. Typo is software. Gotcha. Now that makes sense. And then let's take a look at this one. It says, excellent work on the repairs. Couldn't have asked for better wingman. When I bought cameras, the gentleman who sold them to me assured me that they are camouflaged so well to be invisible to wildlife. Sadly, he gave no such guarantee for the computer, and the birds are extremely wary of this strange whirring box that has appeared in their habitat. Would you be able to customize the case to make it more difficult to see? Camouflage pattern or similar would be fantastic. Okay, so apply theme to case, green camo. All right, so we need to put software and paint one, and then we just need to camo another one. Let's go in the day. Boom. It's nighttime. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, paint case purple. This is the one that needs typo and a purple case. So, I think we need to leave it on this. And let's power it on. We'll go ahead and install typo. So, add remove programs. I guess I could search. Typo. Boom, done. Perfect. All right, let's 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 shut this bad boy down. Let's move it off the desk, switch over to case modding, put it back, and they want us to paint the case purple. So there we go. We're already on purple. From previous thing. I, they didn't say if they wanted their glass painted. I'd be inclined to not paint it, just because... Why would you want your glass painted? But maybe we'll get... Uh, yeah, it's it's saying it's not done. There we go. There we go. Okay. This one should be done. That was pretty simple. That was almost too simple. Okay, now we need to figure out what we're doing with the camouflage. I'm sure this is going to end up being another little mini tutorial... Case modding themes. The customer wants a green camo theme, so let's jump to it. Let's do that. Let's click this thing. Cityscape, sunset, camo. Apply on glass. Apply. Dream theme. Popping all kinds of achievements today. Uh, the case now has the green camo theme and is ready to return to the customer. That, that seemed too easy. Is that really, really going to stop birds from seeing it? I mean... They really shouldn't be putting this outside anyway. But you know, it's their PC. <laughs> it's it's their PC. Uh, so let's collect this one. This was the green camo, 140 bucks, five star review. And here was the one where we painted it purple and put typo on there, 120 bucks, five stars. I'm loving my new purple case. Also they installed typo, which is a plus. There you go. There you go. So we unlocked some new parts. Nothing of consequence. Here's more used stuff. 
Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do these two emails. These will probably be the last two we do for this episode. This one says, hi, can you repair something for me? I'm sure someone like you can work out what's wrong. My air cooler is making a really loud noise and overheating. Any chance you can have a look? I tried upgrading my CPU, but I think I put it in the wrong way up and now it won't boot. You think you could do all that by 10-28-22? Is that the real date? Because, I mean, seeing as how, like, down in the bottom corner here, it's showing the real date. So, yeah, sure. Uh, I think Peely and Friends stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. So, diagnose and fix and complete by the end of the day. Let's take a look here. So, we may need a CPU cooler. So let's go ahead and accept it. I'm just gonna go ahead and order one of these CPU coolers for them. If it's already causing an issue, hopefully their CPU is not an issue as well. Uh, they've got a Ryzen 3, 3100, okay. Uh, with a parts budget of $150. How much is one of those CPUs? $95. Should we order one? Should we just go ahead and order one? No, we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't need one just sitting in my inventory. Those things are garbage. Okay, so that's in transit, and we've at least ordered a CPU cooler. Let's take a look at this one. It says, hi, I don't have much time to chat. Sorry, in the middle of writing my final year thesis. Galactic billiards protecting Earth through deliberate asteroid collisions. And I just realized I'm supposed to have a simulated data set. The thesis is due in a few days, and guess what? I don't have a simulated data set. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> I can write up some code to simulate collisions, no problem, but my computer won't be able to run fast enough to get the amount of data I need, so I need a faster CPU, okay? I don't have much money, but do your best to improve what I have. Failing that, I would also be happy with a real asteroid impact that wipes us all out, because then at least I wouldn't have to finish my thesis. All right. So they want an i7-6700K or better for 300 bucks. Let's go on a 270 board, right? <laughs> They've got a 6600. Yeah, they do. Okay. Let's close that out. Let's go back here. Let's accept this one. Let's go to the shop. Continue shopping. CPU processors. 67. Did they want the K? I think they wanted the K. Yeah, 6700K or better. So there's the K. 165 bucks. And that will go with that job. Confirm. Man, I'm really feeling like I should just order one of those Ryzen 3 3100s. Let's just do it. They installed it upside down. I mean, there's no telling, right? There's no telling what's wrong with it. If we don't need it, I guess we'll we'll just we'll just have one. <laughs> so we've got that for next day delivery. That's in transit. That's in transit. Let's end the day again. I always forget to turn out the lights. I don't know if that makes a big deal. I'm not sure if it super matters in, in this game. It helped with the electricity bill in the previous game. So here's all of our stuff. Here's our diagnose and fix. Let's see if we can figure out what the heck is going on with this one. Try turning on the power and see what happens. Obviously, the BIOS would give a clue as to what's wrong. If nothing happens, then it could be a broken PSU. If that doesn't help. Work your way through the components until you find the broken ones. I mean, it powers up. No CPU found. Yep, CPU cooler is broken. Right. Right, right. So... Ooh, that was, that was, that was the RAM. I did not want to open that. Why do they have their RAM like that? <laughs> oh gosh, let's get this CPU out of here. And let's also, let's also fix their RAM. May as well get dual channel RAM, right? At least install it the right way. Uh, let's take a look. And the CPU. So, the 3100 is broken. I got two broken CPUs in here. So, I'm glad I ordered a new 3100. So, let's sell those off. Don't know where the other one came from. Probably one of the other jobs. 
And tools. Thermal paste. Whoa. Get some thermal paste slathered on here. And then let's take a look at their CPU cooler. Uh, this one is faulty and this one's broken. What do you do with a faulty one? So broken stuff sells for $0. Uh, faulty, I don't know. It asked me if I really want to sell it. Well, of course I do. It's faulty. What am I going to do with a faulty CPU cooler? So we'll get that plugged in. Power it back on. We'll hop back into the BIOS. Uh, it's finding the CPU this time. Turn on XMP. Let this thing boot. It's nice and slow. There we go. Okay, so this one's done. Let me go ahead and get the side panel put back on here. And I'm going to go put this out in the delivery area. And then we've got this upgrade. Got this upgrade to a 6700K. Get the side panel off. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I guess I understand why they put the RAM in like that for this one, but... Ugh, I would have used a different cooler. So, let's get that CPU out. And we will get their new 6700K in. Um, yeah, I, I can't fix... I can't fix that. Not without putting a different CPU cooler on here. And they didn't ask for that. So let's get this one back on. Cabled up. And let's make sure this thing works. I'm gonna hop into the BIOS. Because I'm sure they probably need XMP turned on. They did. their single channel RAM situation. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. So we get the side panel on and this thing is done. So we can collect some money. Uh, let's, let's also purchase some more tools. Uh, first, though, let's collect this one, the 6700K, five stars, got $305. We will take it. Uh, here was the diagnose and fix. Oh, we ranked up again. Uh, profit, $300, four and a half star or four stars, four stars. They seem to know what was wrong with my PC, and they use nice, shiny new parts. Okay. Uh... Don't know why the four stars, but whatever. We didn't use any used parts, so who knows? We'll get to these other ones in the next episode. We did level up, so we unlocked 9th Gen Intel, as well as Skylake X, RGB fans, and 2070s. And then we got all this stuff. I'm not reading through this list. Holy cow. Still scrolling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and then here's more parts that have been added, so that's great. And more broken PCs, which we may get around to eventually. And then these emails, which we will get to in the next episode. But, but let's go to the shop. Continue shopping. Power-ups. Doesn't show me the ones I've already purchased. Can't spend all the money because we got to have some money. Oh, here it is. Owned. So we have the auto connect tool, possibly the auto standoff. I don't know what faster installation upgrade does. It does not tell. And in the first PC building simulator, I could never figure out. I mean, nothing seemed any faster. Um, I don't want auto screw screw tool. I wish, and they just may not have it in this one. I liked quick screw where you just clicked it and it went in by itself, but it wasn't fully automatic. So I guess for now, we're not doing a whole lot with motherboards. So it's not the end of the world that we have auto standoff, 
auto screw would be nice, but what I really want, I think, is quick cable. So let's go ahead and purchase the quick cable tool. By now, it should already be turned on, but let's double check. All the latest peripherals are now available in your inventory. These are purely cosmetic features, which you can customize the look of your desk and workbench. Okay. So we now have all peripherals, huh? So we can change out all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We got some MSI, HyperX Fury. What can we do here? Razor stuff. MSI stuff, HyperX, G Skill, EVGA, Corsair. Oh, they got the K95. Well, yeah. Let's go K95. What do we got for mice? Let's see. Steel Series, Razor stuff. Got the Amamba Wireless, Death Adder Elite. That's a pretty good mouse. Let's go for that. Um,. Looks like, what do we have? An Asus monitor. Got some Ben Q stuff. DFL. Got the ROG Swift. What do we have now? Looks like maybe that one. Uh, so we'll do that one. Let's just change things up a little bit. Why do all these seem to have such large, huh? Large bezels. Oh, that thing's a little too wide for this desk. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, maybe we'll just stick with what we had. <laughs> maybe we'll just stick with what we had. We don't really need the microphone. HyperX Quadcast S. Like, I don't know what the difference is, but sure. And go for the Steel Series. Art to seven in white. There we go. Okay, so we customized a few things. Customized a few things. <laughs> and we got our uh, our upgrade. Let's make sure. Last time it turned it on in the power-ups. Yep, it's already on. So we've got quick cable for next time. If you enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. Hit the like if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, if you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description, or you can become a channel member. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.